Well, hello and welcome to know them. This is video and this is Ferrari. Now, the reason why I'm doing like this is video for Ferrari is because finally it is come to free to play, although it's not entirely out of early access. It, for, for quite a while, it was a paid game. It was, um, I think it was $19.99 on Steam. I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure now that it's free to play, you go on this probably, uh, you go on the Ferrari website to get it downloaded through there. But yeah, so far it is on Steam and it's now free to play. But yeah, this is why I'm doing. A, this is video uh, for it. It's, it's basically a mix of Magic the Gathering and a little bit of a um, uh, was it Hearthstone and slight bit of a Duelist that I've played um, for the channel uh, for quite a while ago. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's it's sort of like if if. Magic had a more 3D scale to it, although it's not like to the extent of Duelist where where when you put down a card and you actually see the physical res 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 representation of the character on the card. It's more like, oh, you put down a a mountain card and then you'll see on the battlefield a mountain sprout up and then you can add a card. Now, so, you know, I'm going to play registered actually yeah so far the game is I mean, it looks completely different to what it was uh, a couple of months ago i don't know how far was this oh it's friend list okay yeah Belch, he's on uh friend list uh right yeah so far the, the interface is completely different than what it was several months well a couple of months ago so i was played this shop can i buy okay now we can buy stuff from the shop I get a phantom coin for 50. Yeah, the current, the in-game currency is these, uh, what do you call these? Yeah, these little, I'm trying to see, what do I, what do you call, yeah, the, yeah, these uh, little um, coins. Oh, you know what, they actually changed what they are now. They're not like crystals, they're actually coins now. Okay. Yeah, so far the game, yeah, it's, it's, ch it's changed quite a bit. Uh, it looks, it looks a lot better than what it was, at least interface wise. Daily quests, yeah, much like uh, you know, Magic games uh, and Duelist. Play twenty neutral cards, destroy twenty creatures, defeat ruined in solo mode. Okay, continue. Um, you know, let's, let's play solo for a while. And okay, okay, this is cool. Reach level three to unlock this link. Reach level five to unlock this link. Yeah, oh, the game is really. They have really uh, changed the way it looks, which is pretty good. I do like this. Uh, it's totally different to uh, what it was. Okay, my deck. This is the deck selection screen. Play. I'm probably going to be a little bit rushed in this game. It's the last time I played it, like a couple of months ago, uh, back when it looked completely different. Uh, yeah, so far the game is basically just magic, but uh, it's a little... It's magic, but a little bit more. I don't want to say complex. It's not all that complex, but uh, you'll see it a little bit. So here is the play field, and much like I do have a little, uh, <clears throat> a, like a mulligan moment where you can, you know, take off a card if you don't want. Um, you know what? This is a five mana, four mana. You know what? Grizzly Woods. Okay, cool. So I can take out this. Okay, that's a lot better. Give a creature plus one plus one. Yeah, you see, there is a lot of uh, magic involved. Create a prairie and gain two. You know what? Oh, I will use this. Create a. Prairie right there. Game two is now I can uh yeah, free turn you can put down up to two lands, but it has to be the exact same. You can't just put down a one water land and then one uh mountain, I guess as a volcano. It has to be, you know, either one one uh one of something. Yeah, it has to be like you no know, two it has to be either two uh I actually don't want water. I do want a prairie. You know what? I want this 
frost. I want this grass giant in the near future. So I'm going to put down one of there. Deal one damage to a creature. So, yeah. That's all much like in Magic Gun. Like in Duelist, it has like this little uh, mana pool. So once you get these mana pools, then you can, let's say, or this camo, uh, let's say, oh, wait, it's a, not creature structure. I knew it was attack that structure. So yeah, structures are like this creature. The first creature you summon per turn games one one. So yeah, this, yeah, structures are basically just, uh, or uh, cards that stay put, they don't really move around the field. So yeah, much like in Duelist, there are like little mana pools. Once you get these mana pools, you'll get an uh, extra mana. So I want a farm boy. I do, I said in the near future, I want to put this Reverdian Force down. So I will put this farm boy right here. And also like the, the mana pool, they do um, recharge every turn, so can actually this creature plus one. I'll keep this. So you can actually keep a monster around to uh, stick around this and sort of just uh, mine the place. Draw two cards. Okay. Queen's Assassin. Death Row. Oh. Wait. So. You know what? Let me just put. Yeah, so I got two lands, so I can put this down. Put another prairie down, and then uh, put this down. I don't know what death throws me. I think I can. Destroy one card? I'm not totally sure. But I will. I'll keep this around. That's for like last, uh, for less. Fortress, you know what? It's overkill, but you know what? I mean, all I got is just giant cards. I don't have anything like small. Depth touch. I don't. I don't quite understand. The one damage. You know what, I, I could just do this. Let's walk and dive. Let's do that. And give. Well, you know what? You know what, let's just be scummy and give this up. Uh, yeah, there you go. Because this one's gonna die anyways. Touch. I don't quite understand what that means. Steam of Fortune, man, I really need cards. That are not just, uh, that aren't just, uh, you know, giant uh, cards. Yeah, so far this game is pretty, I mean, I do like it a lot. Uh, I mean, it's not as, you know, visually engaging as in Duelist, but you know, it's actually, it gets the job done. I mean, it's something really different, much like Duelist. All right, so what is this? Lots of add a random green card to your hand. It costs three less, all right. So I could, you know, I could possibly put down two cards. So it's as a random card. You know what? 
Oh, I need... Okay, I need another wood. Uh, supposed to add a random card? You know, whatever. I'll just put down this Steam Enforcer and set it right there. And also, like, uh, what? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what just happened there? Alright, well, I might lose this one. Yeah, also, yeah, during each turn, I think your cars came back HP. I'm not entirely sure. I'll know once when uh, this turn is over. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Death. I don't quite understand Death Touch. Like, does that mean you once win? It's, uh, is dead? It's, uh, is it gone? Is that, is that what that means? I'm not totally sure. Oh yeah, they, those those can attack uh, Grizzly. Oh, uh, need another. Let's put that forest down there. Iridian. Ah, uh, I messed up. Well, it doesn't matter. So far, the game it's. Alright, what? I mean, I guess what they need. Like, oh, oh. Okay, War Yak has plus two zero while your opponent has ten life or less. You know what? That's pretty good. Guessing once when this dies, you get the effect. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. You got the effect. Uh, could just go straight. attack. Alright, which is what I did. Yeah, I guess the, the, the main part of the game is like that it's the main way you go win is like try to get more well is it uh well I basically won won this uh match anyway so basically it's is you try to get more uh land out on the field than your opponent. Alright let me uh Croc. Okay. Reach level three to unlock this lane. No, let me, let me go back. I'm gonna try to uh, play battle. Is this unranked? Right. No, let's do unranked. And I think this is the. I think, I think Pandora is much like in in Duelist, but they have the. I forgot what it was called in Duelist, but I guess that's just like a, uh, like a Battle Royale type match. You know, this is a battle play against a uh, actual person. 
And then I just see, because the AI for the uh, very first part is pretty easy. So I'm going to play just, hopefully there's someone on playing, because now that it is uh, free to play, it, it should be, you know, more people online. Uh, so far it was like uh, $19, and it was pretty good, because uh, I think it was, you pay, I think they had like a special payment, like if you if it was uh, pay the uh, $40 edition, you basically get every single car that's in the game. Uh, I think I bought that, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure which one I uh, bought, but yeah, you can, there is a, uh, there was a time where you can buy uh, every single car in the game. And uh, and much like it, if you did, you want to get every single card. You like it's not like uh, it's not like how most free to play game is, where it's like you, know, you pay like this amount and then uh, you, know, you get a chance to get a card. You know, this one is more like it's not really pay to win. It's more like you know just pay if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change how the game plays if you um, get every single card. Uh, but you know, if you do want to support them. Them, if you did want to support the developers at the time when they had that um, option set up, yeah, you could get every single card of the game. Uh, give a creature plus one, uh, kill them. You know, this, this card is kind of suck. Farm Boy, keep that one. And I, I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I guess we want to put down a prairie first, and then put a farm boy. It's a classic. In turn. Alright, explorer. That was a good move. Okay, straight ahead. Okay, I, I don't know what you're, what you're thinking there. Do two damage. Campfire. You know what? I will, I will see you straight ahead. But this campfire, you know what? Does the falcon does that work with uh? No, it, it definitely does not uh work on the uh, player. All right. I guess you know. I think this is the tactic of trying to like cut me off my ooh, but. Trying to cut me off of my own, okay, of my own, uh, like, mana pool. Oh, this is it. This is it. How do I undo this? Deal. Damage? That. Wait, oh no. Eight, ten life less. Uh, four. It's three. You know what? That's. I think it's better to actually get this card out of the way or do more damage. Yeah. Let's see what the opponent has. Meliador. I think that's how I'm pronounced. I think that's how you pronounce uh, this person's name. All right. Meliador, you uh Mess up the King's Guard taunt, draw the card. Okay. I mean, you could, I mean, I'm sure you could take all day. I mean, it's not like I'm recording this or a uh, review of the game. You know, you could take all day. I mean, even the timer is going down. Oh, oh, that was okay. That was, that was me. All right. I, I forgot to, my bad. I forgot to click uh, and turn. Okay. Combat Bandit, uh... You know what? You've left yourself... Open. I don't want to do this. Uh, put this down. And then... I guess... There you go. Let's 
still don't understand the Queen's assassin. I guess I should. Put down like a, uh, a tree card. You know, this one, uh, I gotta say, uh, actually, um, I was smart to me. Steamed Forge. Okay, well, was it, was it good? It absolutely nothing. It's nothing like a. You just gotta, you know. Can't just uh, give up right off the bat. Oh, I was totally thinking. I want the war yak. Put that down there. In turn. Yeah, you know what? Probably, most likely, lost this. Oh, really? You gonna switch it up? Yeah, I, I, I pretty much lost this. Yeah, okay, I lost it. But I'm not gonna just, you know, give up and lose. Uh, okay, impression, grand paper, plus one. No way, give me another card. No idea what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna come back. Yeah. After the four dragons, what what what's up with this dragon shit? All right. Well, clearly this person uh, displayed well more than me. Uh, I mean, I let's again. I haven't played this in like a couple of months. Grizzly, uh, you know what? It's not gonna save me at all. Uh, let's put another card. I mean, might as well. Doesn't matter. Is there a way to like in-game chat? No, there doesn't seem to be a way to, to uh, in-game chat. All right. Oh, 
All right, so putting down a water card. All right. Yeah, this, this is, I do like this game. is more strategy once you play against an actual person instead of just the AI. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, once you get to the higher lanes, the AI is a lot better. You can't just, uh... I mean, right now, I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, I really would want the opponent just, you know, just to bum rush me because you know, it was taking a little bit too long. Taking a little bit too long. I mean, I hope this person realize that uh, I've already given up. Oh, why are you going backwards? Just please end it. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really want to forfeit because, uh, ooh, that looks really nice. Hold up. What is this? Like, do you see the range in which this beast? Oh, it's flying. Okay. It can fly. I was about to say, you see the range? This thing has a Oro Say Dream of the Deep flying charge to gift transform all your other creatures into creatures who cost two more. What the hell? Well, I could probably. Probably block against that. Again, I'm just, you know, making a game long, but look at this thing has charge. It can move two it can move up to two spaces in a straight line. Okay, that's that's why. And it's flying, can move over oceans. You know, this this thing is like What? Dude, you don't know how much I want you to just end the game right now. Just Come over and fuck my shit up, please. I you, you got like eight eight seven ten two eight four twos. I mean, I mean, sure I got like a sure I got this thing, but come on, protection. Come on, hey, is is there a way to forfeit surrender? Well, yeah, okay, but I'm not gonna do that because uh, I mean, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. This down. Set this. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, set it right there. Oh, I wanted to set on the grass, but okay. I mean, yeah, the forest. But apparently. The game decided to stay on the prairie right next to the enemy. That's all right. Dude, you can just bum rush me. I won't do anything. There has to be a way to, uh, to, like, chat in this. It's so, like C, B, D, B, enter. No, none of that. Oh, I forgot to move the player. Sorry. I mean, this is a pretty long battle, like it's sort of uh, unnecessarily long, but you know. I mean, you can just come by with the 710. I can't do anything. And they just fly by with your magical water dragon and I can't do anything oh 
Alright, alright. This, this, this guy is like, really. Like, let me see. I wish there was a way to, like, I'm pretty sure there's a way to text. What was that? I saw, saw something. Deal 4 damage when a base enemy creature are stuck. Okay. I think that's a gift is trigger when. Trigger card effect when first played from your hand. Okay. Uh. You know what? I mean, you're not gonna do anything. That, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I but look at all these. Oh, you know what? Oh. I get it now. That thing they said, like, put down four dragons or whatever. What was it? He had one card that was like, hey, put down four dragons. And so, okay, I know what the, I know what the person is. He's trying to put down, like, the four dragons that he got. Okay. Garudon, Heart of the Mountain. Yo, is this like a... Like in Yu-Gi-Oh, the uh, Exodia cards. Once you get all four dragons on the field, then uh, the meteor like comes down and it's a, uh, it's a fuck break your shit. Uh, put down, but uh, yeah, put this down. There you go. Pretty sure that's what they're thinking. Oh, what? He already got the dragon now. Alright. What was it? What's this one called? Tathara Soul of the Wild. Alright, so. We put out another dragon guard? Nope. I want to see that fourth dragon card. So you know what? I'm gonna actually Ah uh, shit. Can I actually try to stop them? But like I don't wanna like kill the dragon. I just wanna like see. Alright, well, this one you know what this this one definitely Oh, I, I can't attack that. Wait, what? I can't can't attack flying enemies, all right. Well, just uh, in turn. There you go. I, I do want to see this fourth dragon. Put the fourth dragon down. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Oh, there it goes. There you go. The fourth dragon. All four dragons. There you go. What was it called? Azari Wrath of the Desert. So you got your four dragons down. Now what? Because I did see a card that said, like, put down four dragons, they do something. Really? Come on. Dude, just end it. Please. But I do want to see what's going to happen with the uh, four dragon stuff. This is, this is like a game mechanic that uh, is not really that's in most card games, but I haven't really seen them in like quite a while. Like put down a certain set of cards that will do you know, something uh, that changes uh, how the game plays. All right, so you got all four of your like guardian dragons. Now what? Or it, dude, just send it, please. I never want to lose so bad. Just come on. All right, 
finally. Well, I did level up either way. Daily quest bound. Play 20 neutral cards. All right. Level three. You've unlocked crafting. Okay, yes, yeah, so, okay, that's uh, three, 25. Crystals. I uh, know, that's a go bag. And then, register deck. The first deck you pick, the first deck you pick will be the one you must use for the first match, first game of match until your first loss. Uh, no. Let's see where it's deck builder. You don't know crafting. You can. Yeah, you can use. I forgot how. Oh wait, wait, hold up. Are these the cards that I got? Yeah, these are the cards that I have. Uh, yeah, I did get the. Uh, yeah, I did get the uh, one. Yeah, these cards that I have, I'm I'm completely confused. It's totally different. Practice no. Pretty deck. Okay, yeah, these are the cards that I have. Yeah, I have like every single card. Well, should have. Every single card. Yeah, I do have every. Let me check. If I do have every single card, nope, I don't have every single card because I don't see that uh that giant dragon thing. Yeah, this is the uh, deck builder. is pretty sort of like the same thing as a uh, magic, except with magic you can't actually you know mix cards. Together. I mean, sure, in Magic, you can, you know, have a deck that's all, um, that's all five, um, colors. But this one is, is much more lenient to, uh, have, uh, lenient than, the uh, with the Magic. With the Daily Quest. What was that one? The Veteran? Defeat three opponents in solo mode? Okay, I could do that. And you know what? Wait. Boosters. Rarity, uh, I got this flamethrower. Aurora's Disciple, Shifting Tide, Fire Elemental, and Rainforest Explorer. And you know what? This is basically it for Parada. Again, I mean, it's not even fully out. Well, it is fully out, but it's not really completely finished, it's still just an early access, so you know, there's still gonna be more cards, more balancing, probably more modes, I'm not entirely sure, I think Pandora was more like a, like a really thought out mode that the developers wanted, like, I guess this, I guess Pandora is the battle royale mode of it, uh, like before, you no, know, the game changed, uh, I was like at a level where I could go into the Pandora, but uh, not anymore, I gotta like restart everything. They gotta be level five. Uh, but yeah, so far the game is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's free on Steam. I'll put a link in the description if you uh, want to download this to get it. It's pretty fun. I mean, oh, but, oh no, yeah. it's it's pretty fun. It's simple. It's well, I shouldn't say simple. It's, it's, it has some complexities about you know you have to put down, you gotta have like the right set of uh cards to put down. Like oh, if you want this uh this. Fire card down. I have to put down certain uh, maps. Also, what is different from the uh, magic where you don't have to put down like you know water mana. Like all the stuff is actually is is right there available for you, available for you. So you don't have to actually build your deck around. Okay, so I got all these fire cards. So I should get fire mana. So, well, 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 this is belly where you you can you really have to risk of, of not putting the, the card that you want in just because you don't have enough like mana for it but this one it's uh you know, it's a little bit different it's more it's more available than uh the magic is but yeah so far yeah this is gonna be it for the video if you like it if you want some more just grab some more to be sure until then see y'all later